I run into people who are, are, are out-of-towners and they've not been here, been to the ramen, it's usually the first place that I recommend. That and Prince's Hot Chicken are the first two places I tell people to go when they come to Nashville. In what order? It depends on the size of the person I'm talking to. I don't want the ramen to go over fire, Marshall, so I'll send the big fellas to places. Hey, everybody, how are you? You know, it sounds so good here, and all the sight lines are great, and um, this is just outside of the feeling that you get just coming into the place to see a show. Um, they book really great artists, and, uh, you know, it's a small enough venue where everybody can see and hear and feel like they're connected to the people performing, but it's big enough to where you feel like you're really part of something. <laughs> bolo tie and a cowboy hat and um, I was very nervous and um, I remember thinking that I was out of tune even when I was in tune. That's about all I remember because when you're nervous those things kind of flash by really quickly. To headline a show for the first time and have it sell out in advance is really uh, an incredible thing for me. I don't know if it's sunk in yet. It probably will tonight when I walk on stage and everybody's there. My mom's coming, my dad is coming. Uh, they will be on opposite ends of the room. Oh no, are they close to each other? Ooh, it's gonna be okay. My grandfather never watched me when I was a kid when my parents were at work. He lived right next to the school where I went. He taught me to play music, and most of the earliest things that I learned to play were uh, were old gospel and, and country western tunes. The Opry was always a really, really big deal over there. It was one of the only things we could watch on TV together too once it started coming on because it was family oriented. He was big on the country music stars. I don't think he realized that there was any other kind of musician in the world. I think he thought if you were going to be a professional musician, um, it was either country music star or bust, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I wish that he was around to see us. You know, it's nice to feel that when you live somewhere that, that uh, you have a good network of friends and, and even fans who come see you play. You know, nothing is sadder than playing with 10 people in the town where you live and then driving home in your own vehicle. You know, if you're driving your own truck, it's great to play for a couple thousand people and then drive home in it. Because that's fun and that's cool and that's kind of like something Johnny Cash would have done. But if you're playing to 10 people and you're driving your own truck, it's a completely different situation.